Today, News 8 Storm Team forecast says bright and blue this morning, comfortable with temperatures in the 60s. Abundant sunshine this afternoon. We continue to see that light breeze out of the northwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. 74 is the high, and then we see mostly sunny, pleasant conditions this evening with temperatures dropping back into the 60s. Tonight, mostly clear, continuing that comfortable trend, 50 to 54. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny, pleasant, another great looking day for midweek, 74 to 78 for the temperature range. Not quite as breezy tomorrow. Taking a live look outside in Hershey, all is quiet. It's dry, it's 61 degrees. Here's your westerly wind at 10 miles per hour this morning and the dew point a comfy 52. Other temperatures, 50 in Sealands Grove, 58 for York, 59 in Lebanon. Temperatures depend on the wind speed, where it's calm and where it's clear. That's where you're going to find the coolest temperatures this morning. Dew point wise, lots of upper 40s, low 50s on the map. We like to see that at this time of the year. Really feeling fine, rounding out summer on a comfortable note. Weather and health check today, our grass and weed pollen back up to moderate levels. Air quality remains good and the UV index and moderate burn time about 30 minutes. Here's Super Doppler 8. There's nothing to point out. We have a front well offshore here. High pressure building in from the Great Lakes in the Midwest right across Pennsylvania. So that still will lock in the forecast over the next few days. Very little change here. Sunny start today. A few clouds bubble up this afternoon and it feels nice with the breeze. Tomorrow we start the day again with sunshine few afternoon clouds and really just smooth sailing into Thursday, which should be our warmest day of the week. High temperatures there could reach the 80 degree mark. Friday, still upper 70s, near 80 degrees. No weather worries. Let's talk about the tropics. We have one storm smack dab in the middle of the Atlantic here. This is Nigel, still a hurricane, winds 85 miles per hour. The storm is expected to gain some strength here to a category two, but not as strong as it was expected to uh, increase yesterday. It will then weaken and then move up into the North Atlantic by the weekend. 10 day forecast. We're looking good here. 70s next few days, maybe an 80 in there on Thursday. And then as we head towards Saturday, the first day of fall, rain will arrive most likely in the afternoon and continue in the evening. Scattered showers Sunday, Monday. We still have a few showers in there Tuesday and Wednesday as that system meanders nearby.